But yeah, he doesn't do too much. I mean, I guess I'm doing like almost K, almost 80k healing per second, but it really doesn't, it's not like an intense 80k. It's just like sustained, really. Just do your best, and there we go. We got the plus 20 done. It's awesome. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I'm bringing you a plus 20 under rot. Yeah, we actually crushed it. I didn't fist weave this time around. I actually just casted heal. This is the build I'm running. If anyone does do casted healing for Mythic Plus, please let me know. If you have a different build, I'm just kind of winging it on this one. I think there's a free point right here that can go pretty much anywhere. Uh, but yeah, we kind of crushed it. That's my that those are my talents. So if you have any questions, let me know. Most of my healing does come from Vivify and Velvet Mist Shailene's gift, and then of course my mastery. And I think I can do a little. I think I can work on doing a little bit more damage, like kind of weaving in more rising sun kicks, but. Yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later. Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, we have, a, a, hopefully we time this, a 20 under rod. And I'm, I'm not fist weaving this one. I'm not going to lie. Just, I got a headache. I don't want to fist weave. I'm just looking to chill. I also, I got some upgrades from the uh, Heroic. Dun uh, raid that uh, my guild does, so we got some got some gear, but I feel like it's not really favored for fist weaving. Um, I have a lot of mastery, um, a lot of mastery gear actually. So uh, we're just gonna I'm just gonna chill. Oh, try not to die the first bull, but we do because uh, we weren't paying attention to the maggot. So that's all right. It's a quick run back. But yeah, normally I would fist weave. I, I, I do enjoy fist weaving a, a bit more, but um, some days just don't feel like uh, fist weaving. So we're going to cast. We got new trinkets. So that's good. I think I'm like four. I think I'm like 438 item level now, which is, I think, 12 item levels higher than last week, which is just freaking insane. I'm going to use my new trinket. The uh, It's like the shield one, which is insane. Dodge that cleave. I can use my gnome racial for that, mystic touch and everything. Anyway, we should be good. Cocoon here. Go straight through the cocoon. Just a little unfortunate. Yulon here. We're playing short Yulon too. And I do have a link to the build in the description too. So if, if you want to know what I'm playing, like feel free to take it. Or if anyone here, you know, doesn't, you know, fist weave or isn't a fan of fist weaving and you have a build that, that's different than mine, I'd love to try it out. Um, I, I try to upload, P, I mostly upload PvP stuff, but PvE, you know, it's... it's my roots in my roots you know it's where i started playing well so i always enjoy pve and playing it so if you have any suggestions for pve you want to see you know certain dungeons certain types of videos i mean i could probably make it happen just let me know and uh i'll be more than happy to do it anything to spice things up i think pve is a uh, is, is pretty fun it's pretty fun the, the new raid was a lot of fun too um there isn't much going on here because it's, it's tyrannical week it's under raw it's not really I don't know. It's not really too bad. We're going to kick that. Or someone kicks it before me. I don't know. But I don't think the stacks on Shailene's Gift reset before raid or dungeon bosses. I think they reset before raid bosses, but not, not dungeon bosses. Uh, we're going to rob that Sanguine because I leg sweeped into it. So I don't want them to get healed while I'm uh, while being stunned. Just get my line perfect. Um, mana should be fine. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I mean, uh, th this boss doesn't really... This boss doesn't do too much damage. As long as you know mechanics, I mean... <laughs> believe it or not, if you know mechanics, the the dungeons are easy. <laughs> you know, boss fights are easy. So, yeah, hopefully we don't die. Blood Bowl, you probably normally want to kick that, target somebody. Uh, Creeping Rot is this green right in the front. You just want to just not be in front of it. That's, that's literally it. Um, that's like the main mechanic. This ad you obviously want to kill because they also summon that green thing. It is a one shot, so don't get hit by this. Don't get hit by that. Beautiful. It, it doesn't. I mean, it moves kind of slow. You could put a port down too. I think porting is like kind of underutilized in PvE as well. Um, yeah, you could definitely put a port down to avoid. But I mean, the beauty of this build is I'm <laughs> literally. I mean, it might be boring to watch. I don't know, but. I'm, I'm enjoying I, I just like healing. You know, that's pretty much it. I'm going to do a little rising sun. Maybe I, maybe I do some damage here. Kick this. Maybe maybe I, like, use my rising sun kick with the, um, to get more of the rendering mist out. Maybe that can work. It'll, it'll be a little in, a little bit more interesting to get some damage out. Can I incap this? No. That's one thing I'm definitely still learning about dungeons is, like, what can be CC and what can't. 
So we're like, what can be in cab to what can be, you know, stunned, stuff like that. I think, oh, dodge. Actually, you know what? That would have been a beautiful time to port. Boom. I accidentally pressed taunt there, by the way. Because it's such a habit in PvP. Oh my god, I almost taunted the boss there. It's such a habit in PvP to port and then taunt because versus hunters, you want to taunt the uh, pet to break your any any crowd control on you. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine? Uh, god, that'd be just freaking amazing, wouldn't it? Just another day. Just living the Miss Weaver dream. Rop this so that my uh, tank doesn't die. I have my on use here. I on use. I have my trinket here. Should be good. I think that rock was pretty good. It got some pretty good value out of it. Now we just have this uh, this maggot. Boom. Good. Good. Well done. Good pull. Uh, this part of the dungeon shouldn't be too bad. Obviously, just don't be bad like me. And Oh, okay. We're just a little, little big, bigger pull than I think. Oh, we're pulling a little. Oh, I have. We're just light range my cooldown. All right. Yep, good. All right. I don't have a single cooldown. Like, not... Not one. I have healing. But no cooldowns. I guess it's a miss we were life, huh? Yeah, miss we were life. Just uh <laughs> got the all the healing in the world, but not not a whole lot of cooldowns. Or mana. I forgot why now, the, now I remember why I fist weave, because uh mana mana's never an issue when you fist weave. So uh I think we should be okay. Hopefully my two set kind of carries me with mana in this part, because it does not look like my demon hunter is slowing down like anytime soon dodge okay cut it out okay i'm just gonna sweep this thing I, I was gonna i was gonna wait to like do a bigger stun but like yeah okay and we're out got a nine stacker here oh uh oh i mean we should be able to release yeah good put my statue down in the middle that way uh everything can get in uh oh dodge this good good beautiful we're running. We're still running. <laughs> Do damage here. Boom. All right. No, I don't think I can go toe to toe with the uh, the feral blood swarmer. <laughs> nah, definitely can't. Big healing here though. Yeah, I would like to push IO this season. The uh, PV PVP has been a little bit of a, a little bit of a slump, so I think now is like a good time to push. I feel like a lot of people are starting to PVE a little bit more. You know. Experiment with it. Just give me like a, a millisecond out of combat so I can drink. Just a a moment in time to just let me just get a drink, please. I'm so thirsty. I feel like SpongeBob. Please, just water, please. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I don't. You know, I don't really need it anyway. I would just hope. Oh, good, 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 good. We got a two set. I think the six. I think the six second internal cooldown also applies to PV. I think it's just a thing, right? It's not just PVP only. So, right, I'm just going to taunt it and then drink because I don't think he's giving me much to work with here. Are we pulling the boss right now? Oh, my God. I thought we were. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. N normally, I kind of take it on myself to be the one that, like, manages my mana. I, I don't want the worry. I, I don't want the tank or the uh, the DPS to really worry about my mana. Like, just let me get out of combat. I'll drink. You pull. Boom. I'll kick that. Nice silence. Nice kick. And then I'll worry about it, you know? I don't really like when... It's a little embarrassed. I feel like I'm a little embarrassed. Like, all the attention's on me. They're just waiting for me to drink. But, yeah, we're just right now. Mystic touches on everything. We do have a warrior. Um, we do have a hunter. Uh, both of them do have some some mostly physical damage. So, you want to get that mystic touch out to get the 5% extra physical damage to the targets. Um, they'll just be passively doing 10% more damage, which is just amazing. So, does it, I don't know if it helps the demon hunter tank that much. It might. It might. Line this or avoid the frontal there, and we'll sweep everything here as well. Nice fear from the priest. We're, uh, I'm gonna outrange that and just kind of chill. This guy's still trying to kill me. There we go. Nice, good, good work. I think we're making good time here. Most of the trash is done, or over half the trash is done. Okay, good. Uh, this is like the. I would say this is probably the hardest boss in here. The next boss is easy if you could just avoid, you know, like it's it's simply just avoid. Kick that, rop out of the sanguine, and I thought we were about to go straight into pulling the boss. But the strategy in this dungeon is to get do 
use hero on the first boss and then do trash until you get the hero uh, the hero debuff goes away and then what you can do is you do hero on the this boss right here this this big boy because he's really annoying and then you do it on the third boss again so because you have time for it i think that's what at least that's what the wait no that's what this demon hunter wanted to do but it doesn't seem like you can even do that huh Nah, i think you just use it twice i don't think we have it for the third yeah it's only 30 minutes interesting yeah all right but the strat is pretty much used here on the second boss. Do trash until then and should be fine. Trash isn't too bad here. Even on Fortified Weeks, I don't think it's too bad. Wrap these guys out of Sanguine. Don't want this thing to get caught in Sanguine because he doesn't move. So we're going to kick that. And uh, good. 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 It, might, it, it actually might be insane just to kill it first. Good. Nice, nice, nice. We're doing a really good job here. Quick sip here. See, I just need like a second to drink. We should be fine. The healing here. I did a uh, globe with the wrong wrong order. Nice. Get around the sanguine. Good. We have two minutes. Kick that. Man, I'll, I'll do. I'll weave in a little fist weaving here while I'm casting. Are we actually? Are we actually doing this boss? Oh my god! I said that's a joke. Oh my god! We're actually doing this boss. I. I meant it as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, okay, I guess uh, let me uh, put Mystic Touch up on this boss and yeah. So this boss has like two mechanics. First of all, don't stand in front of the boss for Shockwave. That's that's the first one. Um, upheaval is going to target two people. You want to put it on the green mushrooms, and they just want to avoid here. That's it. That's that's the fight. I mean, that is quite literally the fight. Um, what I would recommend is saving revival for this this boss. Because if someone does get hit, Revival will dispel the debuff and obviously do an insane heal. So, and then I don't know the strategy for like, use Thunder Focusing Velvet Mist for instant healing and then instant vivifies. And then the strategy is I just kind of like pick a corner. Oh yeah, big Shaylin's gift here. Um, and then just avoid from there. I try not to stand too much in the middle. Um, you could stand in the middle if you wanted to, but like when, as soon as they pop off, I kind of just uh, go towards like the edge dodge where I can and you only have to avoid like one or two to get there so we'll see you long here so like you I mean you just avoid one and that's it or two all right two but yeah it's not too bad not too, not too bad of a boss fight it doesn't I feel like it doesn't use too much of your mana um I still have revival I still have trinket so we still have buttons do some damage here but I mean Overall, it's not it's not too bad of a fight. I do want to heal this guy up though. Before there we go, score revival here. Yeah, boom. And that way, next time uh, next time he does damage, I'll do uh, Shaylin's gift. But yeah, I also have four brew diffuse magic. So we have we have buttons upheaval good, good. I'm just gonna cocoon the tank too, dispel that. We should be okay here. Shockwave, don't stand in front. Yeah, we should be okay. As long as you don't get hit by anything. Perfect. Good. Dispel. Perfect. It's hard because I'm trying to pay attention to uh, <laughs> raid frames and also my own feet. So, and the ant dispels. So I just want to make sure I don't like mess it up. But we do have the the debuff from hero is gone, so we will be able to just go straight back to the last boss. I'm gonna use my on use trinket here and heal. I also have ten stacks of Shaylin's gift, so. The heal, dodge, good. And we should be able to just go in for a little rising sun kick and kill him, beautiful. Yeah, it was really, really good, really, really good. Can we mount here? Oh my God, why can you mount here and not Vortex Pinnacle? That dungeon, I hate that dungeon so much because you can't even mount up in, in it. It's insane. But we're doing a good job so far. It's 80%, 79% trash. Two bosses down, so nice people can spell that, yeah. Yeah, I guess there's some healers I can't dispel it, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I'm just going to drink super quick here. Uh, this boss, a lot of AoE damage, so... Yeah. All right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Don't wait on me. We're chilling. We're chilling right now. Put Mystic Touch up. Good. So this guy, he, again, he only has like two mechanics, but they're really annoying. So he has a charge mechanic. You want him to run into the wall because if you have him run into the middle, he's just going to go crazy like the entire area. So, and then you want to squash these bugs or else they're going to spawn his ads. So, 
Kill that, and then we just reset. Just reset him back. Uh, Jeshin is a frontal. Don't stand in front of him. I, maybe you could stand in front of him. I don't know, but then, you, again, you just step on the uh, little the maggots, the eggs or whatever. And you should be fine. Manatee here. Charge. Avoid. Good. If you get hit by the charge, you're going to die. I mean, probably going to die on Tyrannical 20. You're probably going to die. Unless you have, like, a ton of versatility. But even then, like, yeah, I think so. And then he's just going to throw a tantrum and he's going to pop off here. So this is the major, like, healing check, I would say. And then, again, you want to squash these uh, bugs. But you don't want to pay too much attention to them because you also have to heal. So... We do have some pretty mobile DPS here. Oh. Yeah, outside of Tantrum, it's not too bad. So, indigestion, I'm not going to... I'm just going to unuse uh, Trinket here and heal. I mean, the ads don't hurt too much, but still, you don't want to focus as much damage on the boss as you can. The healing. Charge again. Just avoid it. Good. Squash the bugs. Do damage here. Get some Rising Sun kicks out. Tantrum. Really good for like a 10 stack Shadowlands gift. You get a few you get a few seconds in between each tick. So you, you have time to kind of recover. Uh, you also have Revival if you need to. Like don't even. You don't have to like greet it. You know if you got to press it, press it. But if you don't have to. You got 10 stack of Shadowlands gift. It's it's pretty good. And then you just reset. So you just want to make sure. Uh, you don't want to lose uptime. You want to be able to easily squish the bugs here. So you just reset your position here and that's pretty that's that's the boss fight that's nothing too crazy i'm gonna cocoon here again that's that's fine i have revival too for the next uh tantrum so i need to enable dbm <laughs> dungeons like for some reason like oddly i just don't i don't have dbm enabled for my dun for the dungeon i i don't know why revival here and i have a six stacker for shaylin's gift i should have done shaylin's gift first maybe because the buff versus damage reduction, eh, it's fine, I think. All right, I think I think the Demon Hunter, the tank said they'll just burn the boss, so let's just do damage here, and let's just Todd and kill him. Perfect. Yeah, that was really good. That was really, really good. All right. Well, what, are we, what are we doing? What's the plan here? I, I don't know. I don't know which route. All right. Oh, okay, kick that. These ads aren't too... I'm just going to sweep the... I get curse. Yeah, I can't. I can't decurse. What, what curse? Is there some kind of? Is he talking about this or the? Oh, withering curse. Okay, I thought he was talking about some curse. Cause I was like, dude, I don't. I don't remember that being a curse here. Kick that. You want to kick that? Cause I'm pretty sure that's what does a damage and fears. I'm pretty sure or something like that. So. Kick that. Renewing mist. Renewing mist. Good. What's what's our plan here? All right, we're going back here. Okay. Cool. Healing. I'm just going to use the on use here. Sweep everything when I can. Kick that. Diffuse magic that back. Is he taking damage right now? No. Damn. There's some cool things you can do with diffuse magic, but I guess you can't reverse that back. I have sweep and fork. Sweep. Oh, it doesn't do the fear. I guess the other guy does the fear. Kick that. This one just does A re damage. Good. Nice. Really good. Yeah, you want to kill that first so that you don't get, like, sanguine on them. Otherwise, you're just kind of going to waste time. Cool. Good. Mystic touch here. Yeah, I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to stay very far away. Oh, Astral, just get away from these tentacles. Just don't even... Don't mess with them. And don't stand in front of the, uh, the grotesque horror. Otherwise, you're going to take a ton of damage, so... Just don't do that. Hopefully we take this guy out. Good. Really good. 93% on trash. Oh. Void. Good. All right, we're doing pretty good right now. Maybe go for a drink after this pull? I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, I guess I could, right? I'll just put my statue down and then drink. Oh, I don't know if those tentacles are going to go off or not. Be careful. There's a worm over there. It's really easy to just pull it. Mystic touch on everything. Don't stand in front of that one. Don't stand in front of the other one. Avoid this thing. I got you, brother. I got you. I got you. Dispel you. Dispel you. That's the fear. Avoiding. Good. Okay. We're just chilling now. Good. Let's kill on that. Good. It's the big boys that are really annoying. 
Basically, I just try not to stand in front of a man engage. Just don't stand in front. Good. Avoid the tentacles. Good. We're doing mist. Trying to get as many, like, two set procs as possible. Man engage. Don't stand in front. Good. Avoid the tentacles. Nice. Bring my sanguine. Oh. oh I'm bad. I sh Hopefully, I don't get feared. Too far over there. Good. Okay. All right. We have recovered. We have, re we have in fact, recovered. Oh, avoid. Good. All right. I'm going to drink real quick here. It takes a little bit for the uh, this big boy, the Titan Keeper Hezreal, to let us into the last boss. So let's just do that. Stay behind the boss. Oh, stay behind the boss. Stack on his fat foot near the wall. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I don't mind that. I can do that. All right. Let me drink super quick here. I'm going to put my statue in the middle of the... Go to the map and let's let's do it. Maybe we eat two chestnuts. Who knows? Let's go. Front and behind us. We move forward. Yeah, that that works. All right, I'm gonna stand on his fat foot. Damage here. Oh, he's talking about oh the fat foot right here. Okay. Oh, I like this. Ooh, my boy's got strats. I love it. All right, I'm stacking on the fat foot. Every time I do a dungeon from now on, or I do this dungeon, I'm gonna. I'm going to say fat foot right here. Nice, good to spell there. Avoid. Yeah, so pretty much you just want to avoid the frontal there. And then you, there's ads that spawn that do damage to him. They're like little blobs. I'll be able to point it out once. Like, it spawns. I forget the name of it. It's none of these spores. It's a... Uh, dude, what the hell is it called? This thing right here, the visage. So, I want to kill that ASAP. Um, it doesn't get too overwhelming until a bunch of spores kind of get kind of close. Then it get then it can get a little dicey. But for the most part, if you just you know, you could also use Rob for the spores too if they get too close. So you can do that too. Again, don't stand in front. Uh, when you get this the yellow circle, it just dispels all the debuffs. So you just want to. Make sure if you get that, you just have everyone stacked up and you should be all right. Um, I do have an eight stacker. Don't want to stand in front. Dispel here. I do have an eight stacker of my Shaylun's gift. I'm going to unuse here. It'll actually do a little bit of damage too. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good right now. Nice. I'm standing in front. Perfect. Oh, hello. Are we, are we running out of room? I'm going to use the Shaylin's Gift here. All right, there's another Visage right there. Good. There's a second one right there. Dodge this. Dodge this. Yulon's Gift here. Or Yulon. Yulon's Gift. Shaylin's Gift. Yulon. I'm just going to dispel that. Healing. Nice. Dodge this. Wall here. Good. We turtled, that's fine. Almost two chested it. Don't stand in front of him. Oh. Drop the spores back. I think we just need like one more, right? One more spawn. Let's get Cocoon the tank here. Nice, don't stand in front of him. Yeah, this boss takes a while, huh? But yeah, he doesn't do too much. I mean, I guess I'm doing like almost K, almost 80k healing per second, but it really doesn't, it's not like an intense 80k. It's just like sustained, really. Just do your best, and there we go. We got the plus 20 done. It's awesome. Well done. Well done. Grats, everybody. You got it. Grats. Let's see if we got any loot. Probably not. Yep, just another day.